For the most part, we're never going to get to know who they are or hear their great music. This is my little bode to probably never being famous. I got a song about reaching for dreams, one about politician schemes, even got a tune about songwriter friends I know. My songs may not ring your bell, not much chance they will sell, probably never see me on a primetime TV show. And the songs I write might never be top 40, Never call the Grand Ole Opry home. Never hear my tunes playing on the radio. Never see my picture on the cover of the Rolling Stone. Never see my picture on the cover of the Rolling Stone. I got a song about lawyer bashing, one about Monica Lewinsky trashing, and a preppy song about yuppies losing ground. Well, if you want to hear one about old OJ or that fateful Waco, Texas day, well, then, my friends, you may want to stick around. And the songs I write might never be top 40. Grand Ole Opry home Never hear my tunes Playing on the radio Never see my picture on the cover of the Rolling Stone Never see my picture on the cover of the Rolling Stone Now if I should write a story song Critics say is way too long Absolutely will never make the charts Well like most songwriters I've got a style And the songs I write might make you smile But rest assured they still come from my heart And the songs I write might never be top 40 Never call the Grand Ole Opry home. Never hear my tunes playing on the radio. Never see my picture on the cover of the Rolling Stone. Never see my picture on the cover of the Rolling Stone. No, you'll never see my picture on the cover of the Rolling Stone. Thank you. Hey there, Corral. I did make the Northern Express one year, back when the boys, Bob Downs and G George Foster, started the magazine. I, they had me playing a guitar, and I was Santa Claus. So, um, there used to be an open mic. Oh, I should say, that, first of all, we're, the, we're not really the older than Dirt Boys band today were the older than Dirt Boys trio. Uh, the fourth member of our band was sidetracked and unfortunately couldn't make it today, but this is Patrick Nemisto here on my right playing bass. <laughs> Kurt Westy on the mandolin. And my name's Adair. And, and our trumpet guy's in Guatemala right now. <laughs> Norm's in Guatemala. He usually plays horn. Guatemala, yeah. right? It's an and issue. And if you don't know already, Adair is the uh, godfather of these events. So thanks to him for pushing this through from a small little party. 
to what it is today, 11 years on. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much. Um, there used to be an open mic out at the Cedar Tavern, which Patrick and a guy by the name of Chris Skellinger ran, ran and it. It went on for years, and it brought musicians from all over northern Michigan and probably parts beyond that. And Anyway, this was right around the 20th anniversary of Elvis's death, and we were sitting around in a circle, and it was picking, and somebody said something about Elvis, and, and uh, one of the bluegrass guys, I think probably Dick Coslow, said something about... Uh, a Bill Monroe, and lo and behold, somebody said something about Jerry Garcia. And I looked over at Patrick, and I said, you know, I, th I think there's a song in there someplace. And I said, you can have it. And this is it. Sure. Now when you're off in dreamland, hearing tunes and warm the soul, a little touch of bluegrass and shades of rock and roll. Guitar licking, mando picking, banjo strumming sound. It's Elvis, Bill, and Jerry. They're the brand new band in town. And they got angels singing back of St. Peter's playing bass. Jesus, he's a sound man, mixing with amazing grace. Monroe's on the mando, can't you hear Elvis sing? Garcia's picking banjo, the whole five string. Elvis is playing lead guitar, whole lot of shaking going on. His legend keeps on living, can the king be really gone? Well, love him tender and love him true and always be a fan. Cause Elvis, he ain't left us He's, He's just, just playing in a bluegrass band And they got angels singing back up St. Peter's playing bass Jesus, he's a sound man Makes it with amazing grace And Monroe's on the mando Can't you hear Elvis sing? Garcia's picking Till the old fire father of bluegrass way before his life was through if you hear a bill and an elvis duet from way up there on i it's a blue moon over kentucky up there shining in the sky and they got angels singing back of st peter's playing bass jesus he's a sound man fixing where he's in grace and Monroe's on the mando, can't you hear Elvis sing? Garcia's picking banjo, the old five string. This is normally where the guitar solo would be. Jerry was a living legend, I've often heard it said. <laughs> Flower child of great renown, leader of the Grateful Dead. For 30 years they were on tour, leaving deadheads all around. Picking banjo like he used to, with a brand new grateful sound. And they got angels singing back of St. Peter's playing bass. Jesus, he's a sound man, makes it with amazing grace. And Monroe's on the mando, can't you hear Elvis sing? Garcia's picking banjo, the old five string. Thank you.
That's Elvis Bill and Jerry. My wife and I were born here in Traverse City, and we've lived here most of our lives, except for a few years out in California and while we were away at school. And uh, we think it's a pretty great place to be, like I think probably most of you that live here do. Anyway, this is a little tune about Michigan, the Michigan we know. Spreads its wings to soar in this favorite state of mind. And I walk along your shores of sand, which sometimes seems untouched by man. Often think it's the promised land, this favorite state of mind. Michigan, oh Michigan, with summer skies of blue, cold and snowy winter winds that chill you through and through. Springtime rains that help make nature's children straight and tall. And the changing of the colors in the fall. Oh, Michigan, you have it all. They're so deep in blue, and your rivers run so fast and true. Finer place I never knew, this favorite state of mine. And I've watched the winds of change it blow as people come and people go. Some call it home like the one I know, this favorite state of mine. Michigan, oh Michigan, with summer skies of blue. Cold and snowy winter winds that chill you through and through. Springtime rains that help make nature's children straight and tall. And the changing of the colors in the fall. Oh Michigan, you have it all. Your forests, they still dot the land. Mackinac Bridge is a mighty span. Connecting all of Michigan, this favorite state of mine. Well, let me say no, let me shout. It's a land I love and there ain't no doubt. Forevermore, it's where I'll hang out, this favorite state of mine. Michigan, oh Michigan, with summer skies of blue. Cold and snowy winter winds that chill you through and through. Springtime rains that help make nature's children straight and tall. And the changing of the colors, no, the changing of the colors, changing of the colors in the fall. Oh, Michigan, you have it all. Thank you. You guys are a hearty bunch of people, I tell you. I'll tell you what, it actually, I think it's holding pretty good. It's supposed to get cold, though, and it might not be real nice driving home, but, you know, you just got to go slow. But we're a hearty Take bunch. Bring it on. I was going to, uh, just to say a little bit about the festival, um, we, this is our 11th year, and uh, 
We've and we've got and we and we've got eight stages in all. And uh, I was on the radio the other day promoting the festival, and I so I counted up what we had, and we actually have 62 slots or 62 sets on the various eight stages. And when it's uh, when it's all said and done, there's over a hundred musicians. And then when you have the sound guys and, and all the people that help promote and that kind of stuff, there's probably 100 to 100, well, probably 125 to 150 people that help put this festival on. And it's all done on a volunteer basis, okay? That's why we can keep the price where it is. So if you, if you, uh, if you're enjoying yourself and, and, and you like the price of the festival, a good way that you can say thanks to the musicians is that they've all got CDs down there on the CD table, the CD boutique. And, you know, if you get a chance and you, you heard someone that you really like and, you, uh, and you're so inclined, take a CD home with you, okay? We, they, they would appreciate it. And I think I should say that uh, um, in, the, in the state of shameless self-promotion, um, we did a, the Older Than Dirt band, uh, band boys did a CD about a year ago, and it's called On My Bucket List, and, and, uh, and every song that you're hearing today is probably on that CD. So They're it, all Adair songs it, almost, most well, of them, 99%, well, 95%. But it is hardy. Hey. Anyway, I, was, uh, I wrote this song just shortly before my 50th birthday. And um, uh, last week, last year, he says this every time. Last month, and I say every time, no, there's a lot of distance between me and fifty, <laughs> and last year ah, and fifty. Ought to be fifty again. Right? <laughs> In any event, fifty, fifty is, I, from my standpoint, kind of a milestone birthday. You know, a, a contemplative birthday. You figure you're probably more than halfway down the road, and, and uh, in my particular case, I thought, you know, maybe I just ought to not take things quite so seriously. Not that I ever really took them real seriously, but not so seriously. Kind of just lay back, smell the roses, and make each day, every morning when I get up, do my best to make each day count. And uh, I've been doing it for about 20 years now, so that if you have 50 plus 20, um, and I think it's working. In the key of D. When I was 20, I'd look around. Well, I never saw nothing that could turn me down. I wanted everything that I could see Planned on being all I could be Then I hit 30, I was on a roll Well, I had direction, thought I knew which way I'd go But I found out as the world around me changed not much in life ever stays the same. Now, Lordy, Lordy, I'm working the back 40. Plowed this field so many times before. Well, the earth keeps showing, and the earth keeps showing. If you give a little, you get back a little more. Sometimes being uphill fine 
So I decided to get my ducks in line. Smell the roses, well, I still got the time. Now I just turned 70, ain't got a clue to where I'm going. What I'm gonna do Well there ain't no doubt I'm gonna take each day in stride Do my best Well to have a real nice ride Now lordy lordy I'm working the back 40 Plowed this field so Many times before Well the earth keeps showing If you give a little, you get back a little more. Thank you. Yeah. I gotta change picks. This thing keeps sliding all over my thumb. It was driving me nuts. You should also be aware that the, um, all the sound systems and all the little PA systems that are all scattered through the hallways are, are individuals, local musicians that have volunteered their time and their equipment for the day. And also the Kirkbride sound is being provided by the NMC Audio Tech Department as well as the sound up at the um, at uh, Leftwood Charlie's as well. So there's those Pat guys Nemo back there. in charge of there. A little uh, Give him a kudos. Hand. Everything's being taped so that uh, they have something over us. Remember that time? Yeah. Let's do uh, some of those things. Absolutely. Some of those. There is, uh, I, um, songwriters, you, you want sometimes wonder where songs come from. And Actually, there's a little trick. If you give yourself an assignment, I mean, and you give yourself a deadline and all that kind of stuff, sometimes, sometimes you can get a song out of that. Well, I gave myself an assignment, and I, but I never gave myself a deadline. But what I wanted to do was um, to see if I could write a song that had memorable lines or catchy phrases or uh, song titles that uh, you know were fairly recognizable and use as few connector words as possible. And uh, this is a little love song called Someday Soon. Down in the valley by the Spoon River You'll find my sweet Wyoming home Take the country road Through the Northwest Passage Someday soon, sweet Caroline, you'll be back home And I'll wait for you, my little darling You're the one that makes my little light shine and the first time I see your face, well, I'll sing Amazing Grace. No longer Carolina on my mind. Someday soon the great storm will be over. Someday soon you'll know you've got a friend. Someday soon there'll be peace in the valley. And the answers won't be blowing in the wind. Brother, son, and sister, boom. 
Well, now the times, they are a-changing. Someday soon I'll be with you, someday soon. Come sit by my side if you love me. Then hard times come again no more. Just call out my name, I'm your sweet baby James. I'll still love you when I'm 64. Someday soon there'll be peace in the valley And the answers won't be rolling in the way Cruel war is raging, you had to walk the line Been a poor wayfaring stranger, saying buddy is paradise You've had those deep river blues You've been under that old blue moon But your ship is coming in And you'll be home someday soon Someday soon the great storm will be over Someday soon you'll know you've got a friend Someday Someday soon. Today Thank you very much. Um, I normally end with this song, but I'm not going to tonight. We're going to do a one or two more for you after this, but music's really been a good friend to me uh, over the years. I've, uh, I've sure listened to a lot of it, and I certainly have my share of favorite songs and songwriters, and, and uh, these are some of those. Felt the current in Greg Brown's laughing river. Seen the love from Nancy Griffiths, five and dime. I love to sing Steve Goodman's train song, that city of New Orleans. Love to hear Tom Paxton's last thing on the mind. 
felt lonely like Don Henley's desperado. Found comfort in Carol King too. Got a friend. I lived through Bob Dylan's games. They are changed. And I walked John Denver's country roads again. Here's to you, my friends and my songwriting hero. Well, you music is sweet music to my ears. Kurt Westy on the mandolin. You might recognize some of these people. Well, Jim Crockett sings about his friend, the Manistee River. He's sitting right back there. Michael Camp sings about the love of Harold and Carol. Dick Anthony's wondering why It's about a life that's passing by And Chris Gellinger's Hudson Bay's an awesome tale If you sing with me, I'll sing with you, says Patrick Jay Weber leaves a shadow of a tune Paul Coss is Leland Hoskins songs will brighten up your room. Here's to you, my friends and my songwriting hero. Well, your music is sweet music to my ears. Well, you help me to unwind and find a little peace of mind. It's been that way for many, many years. Well, you help Find a little peace of mind And has been that way for many, many years Thank you Thank you very much We're, well, we're hoping you're having a good time today And you've gotten around to see all the stages Fantastic, and you, you know, you guys have been just a wonderful audience. So it's time for a little audience participation number. But your part is real, real easy. First you take all your cell phones and pass them to the center aisle. <laughs> there you go. All you have to do is just sing the second no on the chorus. It goes like this. I said no, no. Okay, let's try it once. I said no. No. Come on, you can be louder than that. We want the people downstairs to hear you. Okay, one more time. I said no. No. Hey, there you go. All right. I was 19, I was young, I was keen Had me this blinding ambition To be a folk singer, a dope smoking swinger And sing songs filled with tradition Well I bought a guitar and I practiced real hard Wasn't good, but at least I was willing and to my chagrin, well, this young girl walked in and she said, can you sing some Bob Dylan? I said, no, no, a thousand times no, I'd rather see my life blood spilling. Well, I'll sing anything, even God save the king. But I just won't sing any Bob Dylan. Well, I traveled far with my trusty guitar, trying to gain recognition. 
And I sang Maddy Grove from St. Paul to Glencoe. Fires, clubs, and old movement missions. And year after year as I traveled the road, I tell ya the pace it was killing. Wherever I went, from Scotland to Kentwell, they said, can you sing some Bob Dylan? I said, no. No. A thousand times no. I'd rather see my life blood spilling. Well, I'll sing anything, even God save the king. But I just won't sing any Bob Dylan. I soldiered on, but the magic was gone. I kind of felt like a failure. I decided to go where all failures go. I took a boat down to Australia. Well, we landed in Sydney and the sun had shone down. A scene both lovely and thrilling. And seeing my case with a smile on his face, customs man said, hey, sing us some Dylan. I said, no, no, a thousand times no. I'd rather see my life blood spilling. Well, I'll sing anything, even God save the king. But I just won't sing any Bob Dylan. Ever since then, again and again, they ask me that same boring question. And I usually reply with a glint in my eye, a rather indecent suggestion. Well, the crunch came one night at a local hotel. I met a young girl who was willing put my hands up her dress and she said, I'll say yes. If first you'll just sing me some Dylan. Well, it ain't no use. It ain't one to wave If you don't know now. I said, yes, yes, I'll do my best. You'll never see my life blood spilling. If it's what I must sing to do the wild thing, you can bet your sweet ass I'll sing Dylan. I'll tell you, my friends, that was the end of all my traditional aspirations. If being a folky means giving up nookie, I'll find me another vocation. So the very next night at a local folk club, the people around me were milling. And I took off my coat, ruptured my throat, sang a few songs like Bob Dylan. Well, the audience went wild, man, woman, and child clapped till their poor hands were bleeding. And they said, so to speak, that style was unique and just what the folk scene was neat so all you young folkies who play a guitar want to achieve a top villain just murder good prose and sing through your nose and you too sound like Bob Dylan. Everybody sing along. Well, it 
ain't no use sit and wonder why babe if you don't know by now ain't no use to sit and wonder why babe well it don't matter anyhow your rooster crowed at the break of dawn your window and I'll be gone. Ain't no reason I'm traveling on. Well, don't think twice, it's all right. solo substituted with a mandolin. day like today. Kurt Westy, Patrick Nemisto. Thank, thank you. you all very much. We have Jim Crockett. Jim Crockett coming up here in just about six minutes. So do stick around. It's, it's, um